Well, he was a giant in Maryland political circles and a beloved local figure. Wayne Curry, the first African-American county executive in Prince George's, died in early July. Last month, just weeks after his death, our Gina Barti had an exclusive interview with his family. He was known as the homegrown hero shaped by childhood experiences and a true love for Prince George's. One of the things that we talked about, all of us, during the week after he died was how loyal Wayne was to the county. And according to family and colleagues, Wayne Curry was groomed from a young age to be a leader. He was reared in what I call it an activist incubator because he had his family, a dynamic activist family. He had the um, um, Bill and Jackie Ely. He had Cora Rice, who was president Scott, of the exactly. NAACP in the county at the time. Right next door. Right next door. And, and um, um, so all of those people um, indoctrinated him and everyone else with this spirit of activism. His influence was immeasurable, and his presence has left a legacy for generations to come. I listened at the lying in state ceremony and one by one by one by one by one all day long residents and even people from adjoining jurisdictions came by and each one had a story to tell, a snippet to tell yeah. about his impact on the county and on that person's life and that, that line never stopped for nearly 12 hours all day long. And just six weeks after his passing due to lung cancer, his family and close friend gathered at the Sports and Learning Complex to reflect on his career, his life, and his love for the county. Oh, it, it's hard to describe. He was always a go-getter. Yeah. Active. Always had a pet in his pocket. Mm -hmm. Go in a rat's nest and steal a baby rat or bring a puppy home. I thought it was abandoned. No, was abandoned. no, he got the thing out of the nest. And then he had uh, puppies in his pocket. He'd just pick up the little things. He's always full of love for something. He, he was just, he was my big brother. All of these accomplishments, a lot of them I didn't even know. Because when we were together, it, wasn't it was the unconditional love of brother and sister. Oh yeah, when Wayne was uh, growing up, he always had these aquariums and he'd keep them in the basement sometimes. And Wayne and Daryl used to do this. They, uh, especially Wayne, he would put the stones in the aquarium with the gravel and it looked like something out of National Geographic. He'd use live plants and you could just sit down and just stare at them forever. He'd get all these different colorful tropical fish, fish. Clown fish and the way he just created them it was just like something underwater he got interested in the political side of things very early um, junior high school was when he first ran for office and again he was running in a majority white environment uh, in junior high school he lost an election by one or two votes and that was after the school changed the rules and uh, in high school, he fine-tuned his approach to things, and of course, when he ran for county executive, he had held no political office whatsoever, for you know, public office at all, and he just stomped him. I mean, it was crazy. It was just watching the process and the numbers change, and it was mind-boggling to be one of the kids that started out having to force somebody to let you into an elementary school. And then eventually, he's the county executive. I think he's proud of his accomplishments. I think he was very proud of his accomplishments, but I bet he didn't know they were as far-reaching as they've turned out to be. Gina sat down with the family at the Wayne Curry Sports and Learning Complex in Landover.